Hey folks, Silvius here again. Uh, today, instead of hunting, I'm going to showcase a lame and sort of boring way to make a bunch of cash, but it works. <laughs> so, uh, for one, you probably need premium for it, but you can do it in other ways. Um, the easiest way is to just search the market here for things that are lower than the NPC prices. Uh, that ends up being a little bit easier said than done. If you can get premium at least once and get access to Rashid by doing the Traveling Trader quest, a lot of times, and this depends heavily on the world, uh, a lot of times though a lot of items that can be sold to Rashid are sold for less than his uh, base price. One of the ones I know usually happens is the Mercenary Sword. Um, not the case here today right now, but sometimes the Mercenary, or maybe it is the Mercenary Sword. Let me pause real quick and check. One sec. Nope, Mercenary Sword sells to Rashid for 12k. Uh, but yeah, that of course was just one of the options. Um, another option, and uh, this unfortunately requires premium also, is the various gems. Uh, blue gems are 5k items, so I mean, not a great increase there. Green gems are... Well, none of those are good prices. I think green gems are also 5k. Red gems are 1k, so... On each one of those, you're making 100 gold profit, and all you have to do is walk to an NPC in Yalar. Uh, violet gems are 10k, nothing good here, and yellows are also 1k. So I'm gonna pick those ones up that are at least 50 GP profit. So gems are an option. Uh, Olympa used to have vampire teeth cheap, not currently, which is a shame. Uh, Dragon's Tails was another one that was often lower. Uh, that's not Dragon's Tail. I don't know why I clicked on Dragon Slayer. Dragon's Tailor is not today. Uh, green Mushroom sometimes. Also, not today. Uh, Alright, so those are the ones that don't work. Uh, the ones that are that I found best, though, are the items that are sold to that goblin guy, Rafzan or something like that, in um, Venor. So that takes, and I want to double check my current offers. So, Ratatanas, let's check price them real quick, Ratatana. I currently have 125 Ratatanas. <laughs> uh, I have that order down there for them at 350. Um, they sell to that NPC who you don't require anything fancy to do for 500 apiece. So I'm making a 150 gold on each one. And he's right by Venor, it's not like he's anywhere complicated. Uh, the Jins you can do the same thing with, but they're harder to locate, also their quest is kind of hard. So anyway, uh, somebody poached my deal though, <laughs> with the two gold deal, but whatever. Uh, so Ratatanas, Life Preservers, which are actually, I think, axe weapons, I have 109 of them. I think they sell for either 300 or 250. So you can make profit off of them, uh, they're 300 by the way, now that I think about it. Spike Shields are another one. They sell for 250. Somebody poach me on the Spike Shields. Somebody poach me on Spike Shields. Yeah. So yeah, Spike Shields sell for 250. Um, there is a Spiky Club. These sell for 300. Somebody poached me on the Spiky Clubs. Oh no, I don't even have an offer for Spiky Clubs up. There you go. Spiky Club. Put a buy order in for, I'll go 210. And we'll say, I wanna buy 150 of them. <laughs> so I'll make 90 gold on each one of those that somebody sells me. Um, and then the other item is leather harnesses. Let's see here real quick, leather harness. All right, leather harnesses sell for 750. I put mine in for 500. So anybody that loots one of those and sells it to me, I make 250. Uh, these items are all dropped by the Corium or something like that, the rat people. <clears throat> um, they're hunted pretty heavily, and I think they're also botted a lot. So you'll get a lot more of these items on a non-PVP world where uh, botting is more common, which is unfortunate. Um, this is not, this item is a little bit more of a gamble. Uh, look at that. That guy outbid me by one gold, but put in for 400 of them. What a jerk. Let me cancel my current order for piggy bags. Piggy banks are a gamble of sorts. Each time you use them, 
uh, there's a chance the piggy bank breaks. If the piggy bank breaks, I'm just going to go for 380 just to annoy that dude. And I'll say I want to buy eight of them. All right, yeah, if the piggy bank breaks, you get a gold coin. If the piggy bank doesn't break, you get a uh, platinum coin. You can usually get at least 400 GP from them. But it is a little bit of a gamble. You could get some bad luck. Um, shiny stones are another item that you can kind of play the same game with. Shiny stone. Um, use a pick on a shiny stone. And uh, there's a chance to get either a diamond, a gold coin, a platinum coin, or a crystal coin. Uh, so you're kind of gambling on the getting the crystal coin, but you'll recoup some of your losses. The diamond is the most common thing, I believe, that they get out of it. So, yeah, it's questionable. It's also an achievement to pop open a lot of shiny stones if you care about achievement farming. Um, and the other item is there's an NPC, I think his name is like Melfzar or something like that, in Kazadrun. Uh, and he buys Minotaur products. So that is Mino. Minotaur horns. Somebody poach my deal on the Minotaur horns. <sighs> Minotaur horn. I'm charging 50. Yeah. You know, Minotaur horns, you see I have 561 of them. They get sold pretty quickly. I will buy those. 5 GP on profit on all of them. They sell to that NPC for 75 gold apiece. So you're not making a lot of profit, but a lot of these come in because Minotaurs are hunted pretty much everywhere. Purple robes. I have 237 of them here. Ugh. Purple robes are not profitable right now. Uh, purple robes are dropped by Minotaur mages. What's my deal on purple robes? Do I not even have one? Yeah, I don't have one. To be fair, though, those prices are pretty bad. 20 gold profit on them. Not terribly worth it. I guess I'll pull one in. We'll go 91. Just kind of screw that one guy over. And I'll ask for 62 of them. Uh, purple robes. Broken crossbow. Broken crossbow. Broken crossbows are one, but they don't sell for a lot. I think they're 30. And there's also something warrior. Warrior. Piece of warrior's armor. It's another one that doesn't sell for all that much, so I don't usually bother with those. Um, the horns, though, and the purple robes are good, and then also you have Mino Tor Trophy. Uh, it's really annoying when people put like a slightly better one. They sell to an NPC on, in uh, Port Hope for 500 apiece. They're also sort of annoying in that they don't stack in your inventory, uh, so it's kind of a hassle to like, process a large amount of them. But you can make some decent profit on them, too. So this is just a real cheap and easy way to uh, get some cash but it requires you to have some cash in the first hand. Uh, and you also need to be premium because you need to, well, you don't need to be premium. It's a lot harder to do this profitably if you're not premium. And the reason for that being um, you can't put uh, orders in on the market if you're not premium. So if you're a premium player, you can put the orders in like I just did where I'm buying 100 of them and uh, I can name my own price. We're going to Kazadun real quick. Kazadun. There we go. Um, so yeah, you put your own order in and you name your price that's, you know, lower than the sell price and then, uh, you know, people sell them to you. Uh, a lot of people seem to like go with that mentality, although they like ridiculously lowball the prices. Like if the item is selling for 1k, they're like, oh, well, I'll just offer 75 gold. <laughs> So usually um, a lot of people just won't sell at those prices in the first place and deal with it their own way, um, which is a shame. I also want to check, surprisingly enough, crystalline armor was something that I found out, uh, sometimes worked. Uh, I'm going to pause real quick the price check crystalline armor. So give me one sec. Okay, crystalline armor goes to Rashid at uh, 16k, so if you put in a price for maybe, let's say, like 14 um, you can make 2k on a crystalline armor, assuming you can sell to Rashid. Uh, the reason why I say Rashid is good, uh, and you can hit Rashid up if you just buy like one month of premium total, is because he does come into Carlin on Sundays. So you can do all of your selling to Rashid on Sunday. Um, pro tip, if you're going to sell to Rashid, uh, 
or if you're going to do the Rashid quests, some of the items you need for Rashid quests involve uh, iron ores, a deer trophy, a uh, goldfish bowl with a goldfish in it, obviously. Um, I think those are the only items that you could buy from other players for the Rashid quests. Buy them before the day comes around. You need the deer trophy on day one on Monday, and you always have to do Rashid's quests in the same order. Um, so do the buy yourself a deer trophy if you're going to buy it and not loot your own. Buy yourself a deer trophy on like Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, or something like that. Um, because what ends up happening is everybody's trying to do the Rashid quest at the same time. And uh, that massively marks up the price. Like all of the deer trophies that were reasonably priced at that point will get sold. And then anybody who has a deer trophy will put them up at like stupid prices. And then you're going to end up paying like, I think I paid like 10k for my first deer trophy. You might end up paying like twice that. So if you can, do it that way. Uh, Likewise for the other two items. I think the fish bowl is a Saturday item, and the iron ore is like Wednesday or something like that. Um, iron ore can reasonably be mined yourself, by the way. It drops from dwarfs pretty commonly. Um, normally iron ore, when I was buying them on um, Dal Dal on, uh, on Amera, they were selling for like 600 GP. And then the day of the quest, I ended up paying 4k for each one of them. And there wasn't anything I can do, because I waited until the last, like, two hours to do the quest, and there was no way I was farming them at that point. Uh, <laughs> so, moral of that story... I'll get these stupid things out of my way. So this is the, uh, I'm going to the NPC that buys the Minotaur products, so that I can just, you know, show that off real quick. Here he is. Melfar is his name. So, yeah. He buys them, bam, 18k on me right now from selling those. He buys all the Minotaur products except for the trophy. Grizzly Adams and Port Hope buys the trophies. Uh, and I think you also need to be at least like one rank up in the palm for a society, which to be honest, if you're a premium player and you're doing anything, you should have those points. Always, pretty much always task. <laughs> always task. All right. Um, and then the other people that you sell to is uh, the gems, like the uh, yellow gems and whatnot. They go to Tamaril, I think his name is. He's a dragon lord in um, Yalahar. He's the uh, he's the magic guild, the sorcerer's guild person. He's in the uh, mage quarter, all the way in the back. You don't have to fight anything to get to him. Uh, <sighs> And what was the other items? Oh yeah, and then the goblin guy in Venor. Um, he's just... Uh, I guess I could show you. Yeah, I'll show you. Whatever. It's just money. We'll make this quick, though. I need to... Magic carpet. Man, I can't wait to get my air conditioning on. We want to go to... Darashia. We want to spell Darashia right first, though. Darashia. Yes. I have my keyboard, uh, like, over top of another wire. So when I push the keys on the left-hand side, they, uh, like, the keyboard rocks back and forth, which makes typing very awkward. Um, on a completely unrelated side note to, like, anything that I've been speaking about at all, I just thought this was funny. Today, I learned an actual new word. <laughs> I know that's stupid, but it's what it is. Yeah, so, uh, not that I'm, like, the master of the English language or anything along those lines, because I'm most assuredly not. Um, I do, however, know, like, a decent amount of, uh, like, a lot of English words. <laughs> like, I, I, I wouldn't say I'm, like, a master of English and I don't know all the words, but I think I know a lot of them, and uh, I'm, like, you know, pretty intelligent guy. So when I do encounter a word I don't know, uh, I'm usually able to, like, figure it out, right? Uh, and this was a word that I could not <laughs> figure out through, like, context clues. It was legitimately a word that I read I had never heard of before, and I just, like, stared mouth open at my computer screen. So, uh, let me just pull these out before I... Ugh. All right, load it up. Let me, uh, let me get the exact line of text. One sec. Okay. That was not the right button. <laughs>
<laughs> Whoops. I saw me alt tabbed out of the game real quick. Alright, the word was Ballywick. Now, I don't know if anybody else has ever heard of that word. Ballywick. B-A-I-L-I-W-I-C-K. I've never heard of that word before. Uh, and the phrase it was used in was, the resident has resided in this Ballywick for blank years. Uh, I took a wrong turn there. Um, so yeah, I've legitimately never <laughs> heard that phrase before. Uh, and I had like no idea, whoops, I didn't mean to go down that staircase. I have never heard it before, that phrase wasn't like immediately clear. Um, so what the word actually means is like area of operations kind of, um, or like territory. And the more specific one is like a legal law term, meaning like a sheriff's uh, jurisdiction. So the question was, it was a question that like would be asked a police officer and you would say like the resident has uh, lived in this police officer's jurisdiction for blank years. Anyway, that was utterly a pointless side note, but I figured I would uh, say it while I walked here. And then this is the dude you sell the uh, quorum stuff to. He's a uh, goblin in a top hat. And I'm a human in a top hat. Uh, so yeah, he also buys fishing rods and ropes. I think, yeah, okay, yeah, he only sells uh, fishing rods and ropes. Buys, sorry. Uh, so if you happen to have a rope on you or a fishing rod that you don't want to sell, make sure you don't just hammer on the button. Also on that note, uh, Rashid buys an awful lot of items that you could conceivably be carrying on you at any given point. Uh, one of which is light shovels, so don't accidentally sell your light shovel to him. All right. That was it. That was a cheap and easy way, if you're a premium player, essentially, to make some quick gold. But you have to have some initial startup. But uh, it worked for me. I've made, like, probably 500k. It's how I've gotten most of my wealth on Silvius and Dowdow. So, yeah, give it a try.